parts of Nigeria's thriving film industry, where stories spring to life through the camera's lens, an orchestra of sounds paints vivid portraits with every frame. Welcome to Sounds of Nollywood, a mesmerizing journey into the world of cinematic soundscapes. Across five gripping episodes, we extend an invitation to meet the virtuosos, the uncelebrated champions who painstakingly compose the layers of sound that infuse vitality into Nollywood's most cherished moments. Prepare to embark on a journey that unveils the concealed symphonies, the soul-staring melodies, and the captivating rhythms that contribute to Nollywood's cinematic legacy. This is Sounds of Nollywood, where every note, every beat, and every sound narrates a story of its own. Strap in, for this is a sonic adventure like no other. Brought to you by We Talk Sound in collaboration with In Nollywood. Hi, my name is Kulanen and I am a film composer. My name is Kulanen. I've always been passionate about music, even though I grew up in a small town where I necessarily wasn't exposed to musicians or filmmaking. For me, it was always about the creation more than enjoying the music. I studied in Joss. Joss is known for quite a number of musicians. I wanted to meet some of them. I never even knew that there was a film school there. I used to intern in one studio. I knew how to play instrument and I was learning how to sequence music. And the film students were trying to make their short films. Some of the filmmakers I'm making film with today from being Kai Edward to Kenneth Gang. Meeting film students those early years really pretty much how I started. Film for me is the perfect intersection between music and storytelling, which are two things I love doing very well. A film composer is essentially still a storyteller. You understand the story, you understand the vision of the director, you want to take all of that, put it in musical terms. Sometimes the director wants you to follow a character, sometimes he wants you to emphasize a part of the character that the acting, the dialogue, the camera does not see. I love to work on very ambitious projects. I'll give an example, The Black Book. It was a captivating story about the reality of Nigerians, many of the things that are going on in the country. And the director is someone I'd never met before. And when I spoke to him, I could hear the passion. He said he wanted everything intense. That was first the general direction because the themes in the film are dear to his heart and he wants to tell it and he wants to tell it with all seriousness. He wants people to be captivated. Usually working with a first time director, you want to create that trust. Once he just had that first action sequence, he said, yes, this is the right amount of tension. Producers need to start understanding that sound and music is a big part of storytelling. For example, the gun of the protagonist might sound different from the gun of the antagonist. That kind of level of detail is what I need producers to start understanding better. You bring them on time, you can start discussing specifics. An experienced sound designer, an experienced composer, he starts to influence some of the choices you even make during production. Now, because they are in the latter part of the filmmaking process, all of the budget is used on production. Meanwhile, post-production is a really, really very big part of your storytelling. Directors and producers must be intentional about their budgeting for sound design and for music. We need more people to be educated about the craft. You don't only want to come to a few people if you want to make a film. That's why I said earlier, filmmaking is about a team. Everybody in that team matters. From the grips guy to the boom swinger, mixing engineer, to everybody is important to making that film successful. A lot of what is happening in the music scene really has a lot of influence in what is happening in the film industry. In order to identify with today's Afrobeat wave and Afrobeat culture, that influence is in our movies. Every Everybody wants a fella song in their film right now. When you want to tell a story, you're trying to replicate some of the things that fella stood for. One of the things it does, one, it brings nostalgia. There are movies I watched when I was seven, eight. I can remember some of the music, but I can't remember anything that happened in the film. So music has that connecting power. I see a lot of people from the music industry reach out to me and tell me, hey, I want to start writing music for film and I'm happy, you know, and I'm actually working on master classes that I want to start doing for people.
people who want to change from music production into film music. So the future is bright. There's a lot more investment now than there was before. I'm happy for what it is becoming. I've been in the industry long enough. We are at the phase where producers and directors are beginning to realize that music and sound are one of their biggest storytelling devices in filmmaking. After I do this in this scene and I put this song here, it's gonna make people feel a certain way. So I don't think film composers get the recognition they are supposed to get as of now, but I think it's changing. As our industry grows, the recognition will come. October 1 was my first future film. Um, as a composer. Kunle Afolayon is very passionate about what he does. So I was just learning on the job. The tools I had then, I didn't have today. How the film turned out to be one of Nigeria's biggest films, I don't know. But that's, that's what happens when you're passionate. I started with the dialogue. I requested for ADR. I mean, I recorded on set too. Moving into post-production. It was quite an intense five to six month period. At some point, I had told the director to come. There was a studio in Lokoja, I believe. And I told him to come and he drove from Lagos, paid for a hotel and we were together crafting this thing. So every night he would come and would review all the cues that I had done. You can see that the passion was there. My educated opinion tells me independence has arrived 10 years too early. The CEO, one interesting thing, I enjoyed recording a live orchestra. It was another learning curve for me, but I really enjoyed working with a live orchestra. There's that whole feeling when you hear your music played by a live orchestra. Oloture, I wrote all of the music in Oloture a little over two weeks. From the time I got the final cut to the time I had to submit all of the music was a little over two weeks. Blood Sisters was the first series I have ever worked on. I've never worked on a series before. I'm, I was, I'm always afraid of TV series always scared me, but um, Blood Sisters was the first series I'd ever written music for. Hi, my name is Kulanen and I am a film composer. This documentary is proudly presented by We Talk Sound in collaboration with In Nollywood.